All right, a couple more things we're going to do here. Um, one thing I want to point out is up under here, I've got this thing up tilted back, is where your, uh, your dispense nozzle is. Your uh, dispense nozzle for your, for your brewing slips up in here. And it's a perforated disc and it's got a, it's got a rubber collar. The rubber collar is the, the O-ring gasket. It goes up inside the, uh, the round flange in there. Then the dispense nozzle goes in uh, like so in a twist and it locks in place. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to we want to take uh, and I want to show you where the timer is. If you pop this silver plug out, the brew time timer is located in here. Uh, what you can do is you can adjust this for so many seconds to you know vary the level of your carafe. Um, this one is set at, at 40 seconds. What, how you can determine if this timer is bad is when you initiate a brew up here on the front, you can put a voltmeter on the valve in the back and you can check and see if the voltmeter runs for 40 seconds. If you have voltage for 40 seconds and your, your carafe um, is coming up short, you know, you can try increasing it to 50 seconds take that same test, see if your, your valve is energized for 50 seconds. If the level is the same, then you know that you've got a problem with the valve because you've got voltage at the valve for that, that length of time. If you're not getting voltage at the valve for that length of time, then you've got a problem with your timer. Let me show you how to get to the timer. Down here on the bottom, there are screws along this front lip. You want to take these three screws loose because we have to pull this this entire um, front cover off here on the 8572. On other units, you'll you'll have somewhat less work to do because um, you know it doesn't have a too hot place on the side possibly. And then these just unscrew your warmers. Make sure warmers unscrewed. So once you get your warming pads off, the other thing you need to watch for is down, down here, you have to take these two metal clips off. The metal clips hold this upper uh, plate on. Pop these metal clips off, held in with a oh, screwdriver screw. Pull that off. This plate comes off. And with all of that removed, tip this back up. What we can do is this front portion will come off now. Pull forward to this side off. Okay, and that exposes the rest the rest of the unit. What you can see is we've got our three elements. They're held in really by those those warming plates. The wiring for the elements. White is neutral obviously because it's daisy chain back. Then you have orange for this one which is under the brew station, red for this bottom one, and we've got blue for this upper one. So you can go back up to your switches up top and make sure they're connected. To take the timer out then, you're going to disconnect, after you unplug it to be safe, you're going to disconnect your wires. Um, and this is held on with a set screw, so the knob's got to come off, and then I can see Phillips screws back here. You're going to loosen the Phillips screws, the timer's going to drop down, Make your connections, put the timer back up, okay? But, you know, you want to check for voltage at your valve. I see the valve right through here, so, you know, this may be the place you're probably going to want to check is in through here. We'll go through that in troubleshooting, but this is where your, uh, this is where your, your uh, timer is that you adjust. Okay, just to recap, that's your timer. Um, let me pan down a little bit here. You can see the three Phillips screws there. 
There's your electrical connections for your timer underneath. Through there, you can see that's the coil for the water valve back there. Before we button this thing up, I want to go ahead and, and show how to troubleshoot this timer. What you can do is you can take your black lead and you can put it on on the white terminal, the daisy chain neutral uh, to the elements. You can put your brown lead on the brown wire coming out of the timer. Okay. Once you get that accomplished without everything falling apart like I'm having happen here, um, and you can press, I've turned this down to 20 seconds, you can press your brew, brew button. So you press brew, you watch the timer energize, okay, and then you have a stopwatch. I don't have a stopwatch here, I know this one's working. So what we'll see is we're going to see voltage at the valve, I can feel it humming also, and it just shut off, okay. And what you can do is you can turn it up then, you know, I'm going to 30 seconds, you can do the same thing, press event, here we go, it's buzzing, we show voltage, we take our stopwatch and check it again, and see if it's working for 30 seconds, you got voltage for 30 seconds, the valve shuts off, and we know that the valve's operational or the timer's operational and you know yes we may have a problem with the valve you know it may be dirty or clogged or something but we want to you know we know for sure that the timer's working we don't need to replace it okay here we're going to show how to troubleshoot the the warmer elements what you want to do is turn on your your power switch for the element you're testing uh, I'm going to do this one you want to take your meter then you want to put your leads across the terminals. Okay, it's going to give you your voltage. You know, you got voltage to your element. These are 100 watt elements. So they're going to draw 100 ohms. If you check, you got voltage to your element. It's still not getting hot. This one's heating up. Then what you do is you take your wires, you know, turn it off, unplug it, take your wires off. You ohm out your element. Your element should read 100 ohms end to end. Uh, if it's not, you need to replace it. If uh, if you're showing voltage there, you know, then then you got something else going on. You got uh, loose contact or or something else, uh, you know, down there at the element. So, you know, you should have uh, uh, your supply voltage at the element, and it should be for 110 volt units should be 100 ohms. Okay, what I've done is I've. Uh, Filled the uh, water tank with uh, two and a half carafes of water. Let it drip out into the second carafe, the remainder. Um, I've inserted a temperature probe down through the vent tube for the uh, for the water tank, and I've turned the unit on, and it's currently heating. It's at 110 degrees, and it's climbing pretty quick. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check for amp draw. This unit draws uh, 110 volt, 20 volt unit draws 12.9 amps. Um, and it's the elements rated at 9.6 ohms. So we're going to check the amp draw here and see what we get. I've clamped on around it. I'm getting 11 and a half amps, so you know we're right in the ballpark that's uh, working. I just checked the wire going through the high limit down to the uh, to the element, so we know that the the thermostat's turned on and we have amp draw and that's indicated you know real clearly by the the temperature rise so I believe this one's set for 202 and I'll be back when it gets to that temperature okay the thermostat is set for 205 it uh, it uh, came on it ran it, it I heard it click off at 205 it is slowly coasted up to 207 but uh, we aren't showing any amp draw the the meter's not jumping anymore, so I'm sure we're, uh, yeah, no amp draw, so we're satisfied. It's actually cooling down. 
So what it'll do is it'll stay on and it'll maintain that, that 205 to, you know, 207 temperature. So we're, we're good to go here. Uh, the way this one's set up is if we want to make a brew now, we, since we don't have water connected, we're going to have to add water and it's going to dispense out through the bottom.